Hello everyone, welcome to Aptiplus Academy for Civil Services. Today I am here for the past three months current affairs uh, which are there in news. So I will be covering three months of current affairs which are the April, May and June. So these three months current affairs are going, are going to be very important for all of you uh, in your OPC exam. Uh, having said that, uh, let us begin the analysis. So the uh, Start, starting with the analysis so before I start the analysis let us uh, look at the practice questions so these are the few practice questions that I have given so you can comment the answer of this question in the comment section so which of the following statements best summarizes the approach adopted uh, by the PDMA of the Odisha recognized by Niti Aayog so recently uh, P PSDMA take a take a PSDMA will know about the full form of it as well so if you already know about it comment the answer of this question so PSDMA has been recognized by Niti Aayog uh, for doing the commendable work in Odisha. So for this reason, this topic was in news. So option A is PSDMA focuses on quantitative uh, quantitative mon monitoring of outcomes take to uh, measure the outcomes. Uh, the PhDMA, PhDMA uses the quantitative monitoring or not. Okay. PhDMA employs the narrative-based methods to emphasize the impact of programs on individuals. So whether this is correct or not. PhDMA primarily uses the statistical data. Uh, PhDMA relies on the theoretical model, models. So which type of model is used by PhDMA? to evaluate uh, the progress of the social security schemes of the Odisha. So this is about the evaluation method that the Odisha government used uh, to evaluate the progress of different uh, social uh, sector schemes that is there in Odisha. So this is uh, an important scheme. So comment the answer of this question. We'll discuss about the answer as well. And after going through this uh, current affairs session, we'll, you'll know about the answer of this question as well. And uh, the next question is, what is the main objective of Odisha's initiative regarding the Sakhi Booths? So Sakhi Booths uh, was recently in news and recently the Election Commission of India conducted the the world's largest uh, 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 the election which is the Lok Sabha election so 17th Lok Sabha election concluded so for this reason this election news is are very important and uh, the main ob objective of Odisha's Sakhi booth so Sakhi booth what is the Sakhi booth so Sakhi booth is basically booth uh, which are completely run by the women in Odisha okay so these boats are completely manned by women so what is its objective to ensure the only women voters are allowed to vote in these boats to increase the female representation in election management roles to provide the special voting assistance to elderly women voters to encourage the higher female voter participation in areas with historically low turnout so which of these are the answer of your question so comment the answer of this question as well uh, now moving on to the discussion for today's first current affairs the first current affairs for today is the koraput district to be developed into the holistic tourist destination so center has come up with the plan to develop the koraput district as the holistic tourist destination so for this reason this topic is important and to attract uh, this is to attract the domestic tourist under the so this darshan scheme so this uh, since this topic was in news we need to understand what is the uh, so this darshan scheme and uh, this scheme basically aims to attract the domestic tourist uh, in the Koraput district in Odisha and the Odisha is part of 15 states shortlisted to be developed as a part of the Sodesh Darshan 2.0 program. So Sodesh Darshan scheme is basically a scheme of the Ministry of Tourism which aims to develop uh, the tourist circuits in India. So there are different circuits or uh, the tourist circuits which have been developed under the uh, so this uh, darshan scheme so so this darshan scheme was basically launched in 2014-15 uh, uh, for integrated development of theme based tourist circuits so different theme based circuits are being developed under this so this uh, darshan scheme tk so under so this darshan scheme the odisha's koraput uh, district is being uh, selected okay so this darshan 2.0 scheme and uh, the circuits that is there under this uh, so this darshan schemes are the buddhist circuit okay coastal circuit desert circuit eco circuit okay heritage circuit northeast circuit himalayan circuit sufi circuit uh, krishna circuit ramayan circuit rural circuit spiritual circuit tirthankar circuit and wildlife circuit and tribal circuit so this these uh, circuits which are uh, you know uh, 
the theme based are very important and you can go to the ministry of tourism website and you can source this for the uh, swadesh darshan scheme and you can know about the different circuits which cir uh, tourist destinations are being covered for instance the buddhist circuit covers the life of buddha uh, where the buddha one was born uh, for instance lumbini theek hai lumbini in nepal is being connected with the buddhist circuit theek hai so this again covers the cross border area as well theek hai so the buddhist circuit uh, connects lumbini in nepal bodh gaya where buddha received the enlightenment then it covers the uh, kapil vastu theek hai in up then it covers the sarnath where buddha gave first sermon and kapil vastu is the place where buddha uh, took parinirvan maha parinirvan where uh, he uh, buddha basically uh, you know uh, died there ठीक है सो ऑल दीज एरियाज आर बींग कवर्ड अंडर दी बुद्धिस्ट सर्किट एंड अदर प्लेसेस सच एज सारनाथ ठीक है वेर देर इज सांची स्तूपा एंड द प्लेसेस सच एज दी कोसाम्बी इन यूपी आर बींग ऑल कवर्ड अंडर दिस बुद्धिस्ट सर्किट सो वेरियस प्लेसेस आर बींग कनेक्टेड अंडर दी बुद्ध सर्किट सो इफ यू गो टू द वेबसाइट यू कैन नो अबाउट ऑल ऑफ इट एंड द स्वदेश दर्शन टू पॉइंट जीरो इज बेसिकली एन मंत्र it is a uh, basically scheme which is upgraded version of swadesh darshan uh, scheme and this scheme uh, 2.0 is basically uh, a scheme which emphasizes the vocal for local so vocal for local is the basic theme of the swadesh darshan scheme 2.0 and the scheme namely swadesh darshan 2.0 seeks to attain the atmanirbhar bharat theek hai so this is uh, the <coughs> uh, main theme of the so this is the darshan 2.0 scheme so there is no basic change in the swadesh darshan 2.0 scheme but there is only addition of the theme which is the vocal for local and the atmanirbhar bharat theek hai so it is 100% centrally funded scheme you have to know this point as well so this is the central sector scheme so <coughs> you have to know that schemes have been divided into two types which are centrally sponsored and central sector scheme so central sector scheme means schemes which are completely funded by the central government for instance the swadesh darshan scheme and centrally sponsored schemes are the schemes which are divided the funding for which are divided between central and states theek hai for instance the uh, mg narega scheme theek hai uh, there are other schemes as well uh, for instance uh, pradhan mantri हर घर जल योजना सो दीज आर ऑल स्कीम्स विच आर सेंट्रली स्पॉन्सर्ड स्कीम्स सो दीज टाइप ऑफ यू नो करंट अफेयर्स आर आस्ट इन पी एस सी ओ पी एस सी एंड अदर एग्जाम सो दीज करंट अफेयर्स आर इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड उत्कल दिवस इज सेलिब्रेटेड एनुअली ऑन अप्रैल फर्स्ट सो ऑल ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ ओडिशा मस्ट नो दिस दैट उत्कल दिवस इज द फाउंडिंग डे ऑफ ओडिशा बिकॉज ऑन अप्रैल फर्स्ट Odisha state came into being, ठीक है. So Odisha came into being on April first, uh, 1936. ठीक है. After many years of freedom struggle, or the struggle for the separate state statehood for Odisha, on April 36, uh, state of Odisha was formed out of the uh, Bengal province. ठीक है. So under the british rule odisha was part of bengal bengal presidency along with the present day bihar and west bengal theek hai so after carving out uh, odisha on april uh, april 1 uh, 1936 uh, the new province of odisha came into being and that day is also referred to as odisha foundation day and the Visuva Milan, ठीक है So Visuva Milan is also related to the Utkal Divas. So you have to know this point, and it commemorates the formation of Odisha as a state following the struggle of the recognition as an independent entity. ठीक है So this is an important point, and notable leaders such as the Utkala, Gauraba, Madhusudan Das. Gopal Bandhu Das. So you have to know these freedom fighters. So they are all the freedom fighters from Odisha. they played pivotal role in creating the province of odisha theek hai so uh, they are important leaders uh, in uh, independence india as well as uh, the uh, the 
major players who played role in creation of Odisha as a state and the state was initially called Odisha until it was officially renamed as Odisha. Okay? So this is important. Odisha was renamed as Odisha through the Odisha bill in March 2011. Okay? This year can be asked. You have to know these points. So uh, these are important points related to the Odisha Divas or the Utkal Divas. Now, Another important uh, topic of the current affairs today is the Sunabeda Wildlife Sanctuary. So Sunabeda Wildlife Sanctuary is was in news because increase in temperature, so heat waves, etc., uh, affected these uh, areas. So for this reason, this topic was in news, and uh, uh, it is a wildlife sanctuary and a proposed tiger reserve located in. Noah Pada district in Odisha adjoining the Chhattisgarh. So this wildlife sanctuary is to be a tiger reserve in Odisha. So this, uh, if this Sunaveda wildlife sanctuary becomes the tiger reserve, then this will be the third tiger reserve in Odisha. So you have to remember this point. Okay? And it has a total area of 600 uh, kilometer squares and the sanctuary harbors the great diversity of wildlife habitats with a vast plateau, multiple valleys and gorges and magnificent waterfalls are there. Okay? The sanctuary uh, forms the catchment area of Jonk River over which the dam has been constructed to facilitate the irrigation. Okay? So this river is important. Hai. Okay, UPSC may particularly and in OPSC nowadays it is asked that the wildlife sanctuary agar news mein hai to usse related uh, river the river that flows the uh, through the wildlife sanctuary the river that feeds the water sanctuary wildlife sanctuary or the vegetation of the wildlife sanctuary or what are the animals flora and fauna of the wildlife sanctuary these points are asked so for this reason you have to know that jonk river is the river that flows through the sunabeda wildlife sanctuary and the indra nala and udanti river lies to the south of the sanctuary okay so this rivers are also important and the important vegetation of the site comprises dry deciduous tropical forest so you have to know this point as well so what kind of vegetation is there the vegetation is deciduous deciduous tropical forest so deciduous forest means the forest which sheds its leaf okay, during the fall Okay, so leaves are set by the trees. So the deciduous tropical forest is a kind of forest. Okay, and uh, the next topic of discussion for today is the Odisha sees the decline in cases of crime against women in 2022. So this is a good news for Odisha. For this reason, uh, you can quote th this type of question is the uh, in the OPC mains or the UPC mains, and the Odisha saw 24 percent decrease in cases of crime against women in 2022 compared to the, to the previous years according to the latest data by the national crimes record bureau TK. so national crime records bureau publishes the crimes in india report so crimes in india report is published by ncrb annually TK. as per this report odisha saw 24 percent decline in the crimes against women so this is an important news and uh, in the questions such as the women empowerment in Odisha, you can start your answer by writing, by quoting these kind of uh, data facts etc. Okay? So, you log ye jo uh, points and data hai, iska ek fact book. Bana sakte ho. You can make a fact book so that these quote, uh, data codes etc. can be revised before the exam. Okay? And, uh, Across India in 2022, the state stood fourth in the rate of total crime against women at 103% after Haryana. Okay. So, uh, across India, the, stood, uh, the state stood the fourth in terms of crime against women. Okay. So, although there is decline in the uh, number of crimes against women, but in India, the when, it, when we see the number of crimes committed against women, Odisha stands fourth. Okay? So, first is the Haryana, second is Telangana, third is Rajasthan. Okay? So, Haryana, although Haryana is a very progressive state nowadays, Haryana has been promoting sports. Many women from Haryana, for instance, the Geeta Fugad, 
द फोगड सिस्टर्स ठीक है एंड मेनी साक्षी मलिक ऑल दोज आर फ्रॉम हरियाणा सो दे आर पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन द ओलंपिक्स मेनी वीमेंस आर पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन वीर स्पोर्ट्स फ्रॉम हरियाणा वीमेन एम्पावरमेंट इज हैपनिंग इन हरियाणा एंड द प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी हैड ऑल्सो लॉन्च द बेटी बचाओ बेटी पढ़ाओ कैंपेन फॉर फ्रॉम द हरियाणा बट डिस्पाइट दैट हरियाणा इज द स्टेट वेर देर इज हाइएस्ट नंबर ऑफ द क्राइम्स अगेंस्ट वीमेन ठीक है सो यू हैव टू नो दिस पॉइंट सेकेंड वन इज तेलंगाना थर्ड इज राजस्थान फोर्थ इज उड़ीसा सो क्राइम अगेंस्ट चिल्ड्रेन केसेस स्पाइरल टू एट थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड फोर्टी इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू कंपेयर टू सेवन थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड नाइन्टी नाइन इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन ठीक है सो दीज फैक्ट्स आर नॉट क्वाइट इंपॉर्टेंट बट इफ यू रिमेंबर दीज फैक्ट्स यू कैन कोट दीज फैक्ट्स इन योर एग्जाम द स्टेट इज थर्ड इन रेट ऑफ काइंड ऑफ किडनेपिंग एंड एबडॉक्शन एट ट्वेल्व पॉइंट सेवन परसेंट सो दिस इज अगेन द हाई रेट ऑफ देर इज देर इज हाई रेट ऑफ एबडॉक्शन और किडनेपिंग इन उड़ीसा ठीक है सो दिस इज आफ्टर हरियाणा एंड असम सो इन द केसेस ऑफ किडनेपिंग एंड the abduction as well haryana has the highest number of uh, the rate of abduction on kidnapping so these are all important points that you need to know theek hai so next important topic is aips university to, to study the anemia in odisha so aips is an important uh, university in odisha theek hai uh, and uh, this university is basically studying the anemia in odisha ठीक है सो यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दिस पॉइंट एंड दिस इज द हेडलाइन एंड कंटेंट इज मिस्ड योर विल डिस्कस अबाउट द कंटेंट एंड दीज आर इंपॉर्टेंट इंपॉर्टेंट वन लाइन और सो फार एज द करंट अफेयर्स ऑफ दीज थ्री मंथ्स आर कंसर्न सो मनी बंधा पता हैंडलूम सो मनी बंदा पता हैंडलूम खंडवा फ्रॉम खंडवा ऑल्सो नोन एज द मनिया बंडी और द कटकी रिप्रेजेंट्स द ट्रेडिशनल इकत सारी ऑरिजिनेटिंग फ्रॉम ओडिशा ठीक है सो इफ यू सी द टर्म लाइक मनी बंदा पता हैंडलूम सो दिस इज बेसिकली दी इकत साड़ी ठीक है सो दीज गारमेंट्स ऑफन फीचर द वोस इज फ्रॉम गीत गोविंद ठीक है सो दिस टॉपिक वॉज इन ऑल्सो न्यूज सो यू जस्ट नीड टू नो दैट मनी बंदा और दी मनी बंदी और कटकी इज बेसिकली द ट्रेडिशनल इकत साड़ी फ्रॉम ओडिशा एंड इट फीचर्स दी वॉसेस ऑफ गीत गोविंदा एंड देर इज ओडिशाज पदमपुर लाइकली टू गेट द डिस्ट्रिक्ट स्टेटस सून सो पदमपुर इन ओडिशा विल बी गेटिंग द डिस्ट्रिक्ट स्टेटस ठीक है सो इफ द पदमपुर विच इज करेंटली इन दी स्टेट ऑफ ओडिशा और द बरगा डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ ओडिशा इफ दिस एरिया गेट्स द डिस्ट्रिक्ट टैक दैन दिस विल बी दी थर्टी फर्स्ट डिस्ट्रिक्ट इन ओडिशा ठीक है सो करेंटली देर आर थर्टी स्टेट डिस्ट्रिक्ट इन ओडिशा सो पदमपुर विल लाइकली इज लाइकली टू गेट द डिस्ट्रिक्ट स्टेटस इन ओडिशा ठीक है सो यू हैव टू नो दीज पॉइंट्स सो दीज आर वन लाइनर्स ओनली यू नोट नीड टू नो मच अबाउट इट सो हाइएस्ट इंडिया इज हाइएस्ट कार्गो हैंडलिंग पोर्ट ठीक है सो रिसेंटली वट हैपन इज दैट द पैरादीप पोर्ट अथॉरिटी पी पी ए रिकॉर्डेड द हाइएस्ट विच इज दी वन फोर्टी फाइव पॉइंट थ्री एट मिलियन मेट्रिक टन ऑफ कार्गो थ्रू पुट इन फाइनेंशियल ईयर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर एंड दिस इज uh intriguing figure and this has uh, this figure has surpassed the previous record of din dayal port kandla which emerged as top major port in the country theek hai so uh, paradip port is now the top cargo handling port in india theek hai and this achievement marks the first time that in its 56 years of history so never before had the paradip port uh, become the highest cargo handling facility port in india but this is the first time after its establishment uh, 56 years ago uh, this uh, you know a deep feat has been achieved and the paradip port located on the east coast of india in odisha is a major sea port on the bay of bengal theek hai and this is it is an artificial deep water port so the type of port is also important ठीक है फॉर इंस्टेंस विशाखापट्टनम पोर्ट इज अ नेचुरल पोर्ट हार्बर बट दी 
पैरादीप पोर्ट इज अ आर्टिफिशियल डीप वाटर पोर्ट ठीक है ये सैलो वाटर पोर्ट नहीं है यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर दिस पॉइंट एंड दिस इज अ आर्टिशियल आर्टिफिशियल पोर्ट एंड वन ऑफ द लार्जेस्ट पोर्ट्स इन इंडिया एंड इट इज सिचुएटेड ऑन द कॉन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ द महानदी रिवर एंड द बे ऑफ बंगाल सो एट द माउथ ऑफ द महानदी रिवर दिस पैरादीप पोर्ट इज लोकेटेड ठीक है एंड इट इज कमीशन एज अ मेजर पोर्ट इन ट्वेल्थ ऑफ मार्च 1966 सिक्सटी सिक्स सो इट इज़ वन ऑफ द मेजर पोर्ट्स इन इंडिया ठीक है सो यू हैव टू नो द मेन पॉइंट्स देर आर इंपॉर्टेंट मेजर पोर्ट्स इन इंडिया यू हैव टू नो अबाउट दैम एज वेल ठीक है सो मूविंग ऑन टू नेक्स्ट टॉपिक द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज द हायर एडुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट इन ओडिशा हैज अनाउंसड अ न्यू फाइनेंशियल इंसेंटिव प्रोग्राम टू एनकरेज द क्वालिटी एडुकेशन इन हायर एडुकेशन इंस्टीट्यूशन इंक्लूडिंग बोथ गवर्नमेंट एंड नॉन गवर्नमेंट एडेड कॉलेज इन एंड स्टेट ठीक है सो हायर एडुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट इन ओडिशा बेसिकली हैज डिसाइडेड टू स्टार्ट द प्रोग्राम फॉर द फाइनेंशियल Uh, incentive uh, to encourage the quality of education in higher institutions theek hai so starting from 2024 25 academic session colleges and universities can earn cash towards based on their natural uh, national assessment and accreditation council score so if certain university has good nac score which is the national assessment and accreditation council score then that university will get the grant or financial incentive from the state theek hai and incentive based on nac grades theek hai so institutions securing a plus plus grade will receive 15 lakh institutions scoring a plus will earn 10 lakh institutions which have a uh, by the nac grading will get 7.5 lakh lakh and the institutions which gets the b plus plus grade will receive the 6 lakh cash and the and the institutions with b plus and b grade will receive the 5 lakh and 4 lakh respectively theek hai so ye data and fact bhi important hai 15 lakh 10 lakh 7.5 lakh 6 lakh 5 lakh and 4 lakh so these are the financial incentives that the institutions which are graded by the nac will be receiving from the state government so this is an important initiative to promote the higher education or the quality of higher education in the state now to break the monotony i have again uh, given you uh, the important uh, practice mcq so comment again on the answer of this question which state is set to launch launch its first bande bharat bande metro train theek hai so bande metro train in the state uh, is being launched by recently uh, recently by uh, the railway ministry theek hai so in which state you have to comment the answer uh, you, you know about the bande bharat express theek hai so bande bharat express is the express trains a uh, fast uh, moving super fast uh, the train which is the semi super fast trains theek hai so semi high speed uh, trains are the bande bharat trains but the, for the first time in india uh, in any state the bande metro train so bande metro train is also being started so in each, which state this is being started comment the answer of this question in the comment section so this is an important question and next topic is the female olive ridley total uh, tagged over the decade ago have returned to the odisha's rusi kulya or the gahri mata marine sanctuary so uh, the, uh, the 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 no olive ridley turtles which had been tagged by the government of odisha and the uh, the central government has returned after many years that means that the geo tagging had proved to be very effective ठीक है सो इफ दो टोटल्स वर नॉट जियो टैग्ड वी वुड नॉट हैव बिन एबल टू आइडेंटिफाई दैम ठीक है वेदर दे वर रिटर्निंग और वेदर दे वर न्यू और नॉट बट जियो टैगिंग हैज प्रूव्ड टू बी इफेक्टिव टू ट्रैक द डायरेक्शंस और माइग्रेटरी पैटर्न ऑफ द ओलिव रेडली टोटल्स ठीक है सो फॉर दिस रीजन द ओलिव दिस टॉपिक इज इंपॉर्टेंट सो यू कैन कोड दीज टाइप ऑफ topics in your uh, case studies as well so what is the importance of geotagging use of technology theek hai in the uh, 
uh, environmental management in the management in the in the protection of the flora and fauna in india okay so turtles have been observed to revisit their the preferred nesting sites such as the golden beach of kahirmata and the odisha forest department in collaboration with the wildlife institute of india dehradun tagged the turtles between 1988 and 2010 for resource purposes so uh, between 2008 and 2010 10 many turtles in the uh the garimata beach were geo tagged by the uh, the odisha government department of wildlife uh, in the odisha forest department in odisha and the wildlife institute of india which has headquarter in dehradun so they both came together to geo tag them between 1998 and 2010 theek hai and tagging also helps track the turtles migratory routes and foraging areas so we talked about it and uh, talking about the uh nesting grounds of the olive ridley turtles you can see the map here so this is the state of odisha which is located in bay of bengal and gahirmata beach is located here and this is one of the largest nesting ground of the olive ridley turtles in india and olive ridley turtles nesting beach you can see these red sided areas theek hai and uh, this uh, gahirmata Uh, you know sanctuary is being fed by many rivers such as the uh, dhamra theek hai mahad mahanadi etc theek hai so these are all uh, olive ridley turtle nesting grounds theek hai so rusi kulya rusi kulya river you can also see here so this is the map of odisha and the ghain mata beach now moving on to the protection status of olive ridley turtles so olive ridley turtles since it was in news you need to know about the protection status of it the wildlife protection act of 1972 keeps this olive ridley turtle in schedule 1 okay so the highest degree of protection has been given to this olive ridley turtle as for the wildlife protection act of 1972 and i you said i you see in red list provides uh, the status of this uh, olive ridley turtle as vulnerable so they are considered vulnerable by iucn and sites again puts them uh, puts them in the appendix 1 so appendix 1 means again the highest order of protection under the sites theek hai so this is the conservation status of the olive ridley turtle and initiatives to protect olive ridley turtles so the operation operation olivia this is a very important initiatives operation olivia was started by the uh odisha coast in the, in the odisha coast uh theek hai and it was started by the indian coast guard so indian coast guard started this operation olivia theek hai and uh, this was started uh, in early 1980s to help protect the olive ridley turtles as they congregate along the uh, nesting ground such as kahirmata rusi kulya beach etc during the uh, nesting season which starts from november uh, to december theek hai so so during these november december period the turtles come in these areas to nest theek hai for the nesting theek hai so for this reason this operation olivia was started by the indian coast guard theek hai so these are all important points that you need to know so far as the olive ridley uh, turtles con- uh, conservation india is concerned so next next important topic is uh, debrigar wildlife sanctuary has emerged as the thriving eco tourism destination welcoming the impressive 70000 visitors during the fiscal fiscal year 2023-24 theek hai so debrigar wildlife sanctuary has uh attracted huge amount of tourist theek hai and uh, for this reason this topic is uh, was in news and uh, this uh, was declared as free from single use plastic starting from april 1 so ye bhi ek important point hai ki debrigar wildlife sanctuary in, in odisha has been declared as free from single use plastics so single use plastics cannot be used in this wildlife sanctuary effective from april 1 2024 ठीक है एंड दिस वाज अनदर रीजन व्हाई दिस टॉपिक वाज इन न्यूज एंड नेशनल टाइगर कंजर्वेशन अथॉरिटी अप्रूव्ड ओडिशास प्रपोजल टू डिक्लेअर द डेप्रिगर टाइगर रिजर्व इन 2023 
ठीक है सो डेवरीगर टाइगर वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी विल सून बी डेवरीगर टाइगर रिजर्व सो इफ दिस डेवरीगर टाइगर रिजर्व और डेवरीगर वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी बिकम्स द टाइगर रिजर्व देन दिस विल बी द थर्ड टाइगर रिजर्व इन ओडिशा ठीक है आफ्टर द सिमिलीपाल एंड सतकोसिया सो देर आर टू टाइगर रिजर्व इन ओडिशा करेंटली विच आर सिमिलीपाल टाइगर रिजर्व एंड द सतकोसिया टाइगर रिजर्व बट आफ्टर एडिंग दिस दिवरिया दिवरीगर वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी एंड इफ और इफ द दिवरीगर वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी बिकम्स द दिवरीगर टाइगर रिजर्व देन दिस विल बी द थर्ड टाइगर रिजर्व इन उड़ीसा सो यू हैव टू नो दिस पॉइंट एंड ऑरिजिनली डेजिग्नेटेड एज वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी इन नाइनटीन ठीक है एंड दिस इज नेसल्ड इन द बरगा डिस्ट्रिक्ट एडजस्टेंट टू द महानदी रिवर ठीक है सो इन विच डिस्ट्रिक्ट दिस वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी इज लोकेटेड इन बरगा डिस्ट्रिक्ट एंड ऑन द बैंक ऑफ विच रिवर महादाय महानदी रिवर ठीक है सो यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दैट पॉइंट एंड सेंचुरी होस्ट दी एंड अनादर इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट सो फार एज दिस डेवरीगर वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी इज कंसर्न दिस डेवरीगर वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी वॉज द बेस ऑफ द फ्रीडम फाइटर हु इज द वीर सुरेंद्र साई सो दिस फ्रीडम फाइटर इज इंपॉर्टेंट सो ऑनरेबल वीर सुरेंद्र साई हैड बीन an important freedom fighter from odisha and he participated in various national movements and his best base of the uh, national movement in odisha was this tiger reserve okay so this wildlife sanctuary okay so sanctuary host holds the historical significance due to its association with the renowned freedom fighter veer surendra sai so you can see the postal stamp which was uh, issued in 1986 uh which features the uh, virendra veer surendra sai and it served as base for him uh, in his resistance against the british theek hai so this is important so these are all important points so far as the virigar wildlife sanctuary is concerned and odisha is odisha is unlikely to achieve its target of becoming 1 trillion dollar economy by 2030 as per the report by Indian Rating and Research Agency. So this is a bad news for Odisha. This is not a good news for Odisha because Indian report, uh, the India Rating and Research Agency has uh, projected that India, uh, the Odisha will not be the one trillion dollar economy by 2030 as well. ठीक है. The report indicates that by 2046-47. eight states will uh, have economics uh, where economies where the gdp will exceed by 1 trillion dollar theek hai and maharashtra karnataka and gujarat are expected to achieve the milestone by 2039 theek hai and uh, the tamil nadu by 2041 uttar pradesh by 2042 and madhya pradesh and telangana by 2044 and andhra pradesh by 2046 theek hai and odisha's economy was us dollar 93.7 billion dollar in 2023 24 ranking 13th among the sub national economies and 18 in terms of per capita income theek hai and the per capita income of odisha is 1807 so this is again important point theek hai so india the status of odisha so far as economy is concerned the uh, odisha stands at 13th position in the among the states in india theek hai in terms of gdp but in terms of per capita income when that gdp is distributed among the population in odisha how much each uh, individual gets in odisha that is the per capita income so in terms of per capita income the ranking of odisha as per this report is 18th theek hai so this these pointers are again important from the prelims as well as means perspective theek hai and uh, next important topic of discussion for today is the the sarul festival so sarul festival uh, a significant religious event for tribal communities was you know celebrated in sundargarh district theek hai so sundargarh district mein ye celebration kiya jata hai the spring festival also known as the sarul holds the great cultural significance for indigenous tribes like mundas oraos santhal etc so these are important tribal communities uh, which are there in odisha so uh, for these tribes these are important but among these three tribes the orao community especially celebrates the sarul festival in this district 
ठीक है एंड दिस फेस्टिवल इज टिपिकली ऑब्जर्व इन मार्च एंड अप्रैल द मंथ इज ऑल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट एंड इन देर नेटिव लैंग्वेज कॉल्ड खड्डी सो ये अगेन इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट बन जाता एग्जाम के लिए बनता है सो यू हैव टू नो दैट खड्डी इज द लैंग्वेज ऑफ द ओराव पीपल ठीक है एंड द सिम्बलाइजिंग द सिम्बॉलिक यूनियन ऑफ मैरिज ऑफ और यूनियन और मैरिज ऑफ अर्थ सो दिस सारुल फेस्टिवल बेसिकली सिम्बलाइज द मैरिज ऑफ द अर्थ ठीक है सो द बेसिकली वर्सिप द अर्थ ठीक है सो फॉर दिस रीजन दिस टॉपिक इज इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड द फॉरेस्ट फ्लावर सकुला और साल इज सेलिब इज द सेंट्रल टू दिस फेस्टिवल ठीक है सो साल और सेकुआ सेकुआ फ्लावर इज इम्पॉर्टेंट इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ दिस फेस्टिवल सो यू हैव सो फार एज सारुल फेस्टिवल इज कंसर्न सो यू हैव टू नो फ्यू पॉइंट्स इट इज सेलिब्रेटेड इन सुंदरगढ़ डिस्ट्रिक्ट इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर ट्राइबल कम्युनिटी सच एज मुंडाज और आओज एंड सांथाल्स एंड इट इज मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंटली सेलिब्रेटेड बाई दी ओराओ कम्युनिटी एंड इट इज सेलिब्रेटेड इन मार्च एंड अप्रैल एंड इट इज द वर्सिप ऑफ अर्थ सो अर्थ इज वर्सिप ठीर एंड इट इज इन द इट इज सेलिब्रेटेड इन द नेटिव लैंग्वेज ऑफ ओर ऑफ पीपल एंड द नेटिव लैंग्वेज इज खड्डी ठीक है सो यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दीज पॉइंट्स सो फार एज द सरूल फेस्टिवल इज कंसर्न सो दे आर द ओर ऑफ पीपल एंड दे आर सेलिब्रेटिंग द ओर द सारूल फेस्टिवल हियर एंड द एक्सपोर्ट्स आर एडवोकेटिंग फॉर द एक्सटेंशन ऑफ द मल्टी लिंगल एडुकेशन इन ओडिशा बियॉन्ड द क्लास थ्री टू रीच मोर ट्राइबल यूथ ठीक है सो अगेन दिस टॉपिक इज इम्पॉर्टेंट सो एक्सपोर्ट्स आर एडवोकेटिंग फॉर द एक्सटेंशन ऑफ मल्टी लिंगल एडुकेशन इन ओडिशा बियॉन्ड द क्लास थ्री ठीक है सो करेंटली वॉट इज द प्रजेंट स्टेटस ऑफ द मल्टी लिंगुअलिज्म इन द एडुकेशन सिस्टम इन ओडिशा द स्टेटस को इज दैट द ओडिशा इन ओडिशा ओनली अप टू क्लास थ्री दर इज द मल्टी लिंगुअल टीचिंग इन स्कूल्स बट बियॉन्ड क्लास थ्री द स्टूडेंट्स आर टॉट इन ओडिया ओडिया लैंग्वेज सो फॉर दिस रीजन देर आर द ओपिनियन ऑफ वेरियस एक्सपोर्ट्स दैट द मल्टी लिंगुअल एडुकेशन सिस्टम should have uh, would have to be imposed uh, in the education system in odisha beyond class 3 as well so not only in odia but in the regional language uh, in other languages in odisha as well the education system or the edu- educational texts or the curriculum should be there so that is the exp- uh, the view of the experts so in odisha which boasts 21 tribal languages and 74 dialect dialects theek hai so Despite having 21 tribal languages and 74 dialects, the multilingual education-based learning ecosystem has received a boost with the regularization regularization of 64 posts in tribal language teachers on July 2021. ठीक है, so uh, the multilingualism is being pro- uh, promoted. ठीक है, uh, because uh, the 64 posts of tribal language teachers was regularized uh, in July 2021. but despite that the uh, the you know tribal languages are taught only up to class 3 only in odisha so for this reason exports uh, in education exports in uh, you know various fields such as linguistics and anthropology are basically demanding for the inclusion of multilingualism in the education system in odisha so for this reason this topic is important and uh, they also propose the inclusion of local educated tribal youths in the education system through the sst schools okay so local uh, youths from the tribal communities should also be included in the uh, teaching field in the in the education so they, these are all demands of the export committees uh, in दिल मल्टी लिंगुअलिज्म इन ओडिशा ठीक है सो यू कैन कोड ऑल दीज पॉइंट्स इन योर आंसर एंड दिस टॉपिक इज अगेन इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर बोथ द यू पी एस सी डब्ल्यू ओ पी एस सी प्रिलिम्स एंड मेन्स पोस्पेक्टिव एंड द रिसेंट स्टडी हैज अनकवर्ड द प्रेजेंस ऑफ क्रूसियल प्रोबायोटिक स्ट्रेन इन द ट्राइबल बेवरेज कॉल्ड हांडिया सो हांडिया इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट ट्राइबल बेवरेज एंड दिस हांडिया इज बेसिकली अ मॉल्ट which is made from rice grain theek uh, hai aur uh, the ragi etc so handia uh, has 
probiotic strain as per the recent finding take and the discovery is particularly significant due to identification of gamma amino butyric acid which is GABA during the genome sequencing of the probiotic strain isolated from the hardia so GABA take which is the gamma amino butyric acid has been found in the handia tk you have to remember this point what the strain has been found and gaba is known for beneficial for the physiological effects such as the anti-anxiety tk to relieve your stress to uh, hypotensive to reduce your hypertension and diuretic properties tk to uh, uh, and uh, for this reason they are uh, valuable for the human health tk so handia is uh, you know an important uh, tribal drink as per this finding and the genome sequencing of the bacterium lactobacillus brevis ilsh3 has been done tk so this bacteria is, uh, is again important tk so handia is a tribal drink and uh, this you know factor has been found in this hardia so you have to remember this point and uh, intact recently uh, introduced a project name revitalizing the uh, Kirang fabric of Gadawa tribe in Odisha's Koraput. Okay, so Gadawa tribe basically, uh, you know, fabricates this Kirang fabric. Okay, so Gadaka and Gadawa and Bonda tribes have rich tradition of using hand woven clothes made from the Kirang fiber. Okay, and uh, they collect bark from the Kirang trees, soak it in water, and form uh, uh, from the nearby streams and dry it in the sun and extract the fiber so kirang trees are found in odisha and the uh, the tribals which are uh, gadawa and bonda tribes use uh, these trees to extract the fibers and uh, clothes uh, uh, and the clothes made from the kirang fiber uh, fiber are known to last several generations sometimes hundred of years okay so the clothes that have been manufactured from uh, the kirang fiber are very very durable so for this reason they are important and a, a study conducted in 2020 revealed that a very few villages uh, very few villages uh, handlooms and uh, none of these gadawa people were involved in making kirang fabric so as per the study that was done in 2020 uh, it was revealed that the very few villages and the Gadaba people uh, use the Kirang fabric. So they are not making the Kirang fabric nowadays. So for this reason, the INTAC, which is the Indian National Trust for Art and Cultural Heritage, is basically aiming to promote uh, the Kirang fabric. Take care. So the project has been launched to revitalize the uh, kerang fabric from odisha okay so for this reason this is an important point so kerang fabric is one of the uh, diminishing or uh, one of the uh, fabric which is being uh, uh, which is losing which is losing its cultural heritage so for this reason this fabric is important okay and tribal community uh, who makes this kerang fiber is important and intact is the uh, was founded in 1984 in New Delhi with a vision to spearhead the heritage awareness and conservation in India. Okay. So, to preserve the cultural heritage of India, to uh, preserve the rich culture of India, this uh, intact was founding, founded in 1984 uh, in Delhi. And uh, the next important topic is Kalinga Literary Festival. KLF honored the life and achievements of national uh, Nandini. Satpati Odisha's first women chief minister. So Nandani Satpati, who was the uh, Odisha's first women chief minister, uh, will be uh, was recently uh, you know honored in the Kalinga Literary Festival. Okay, and the uh, biography titled Nandini Satpati, the Iron Lady of Odisha, authored by Pallavi Reba Pragada. Okay, so Pallavi Reba Pragada basically wrote this book and. Uh, uh, this book was uh, you know launched officially here and the starting from her courageous act during the freedom struggle TK she was also the participant in the freedom struggle in India TK and uh, uh, she was uh, important figure to pull down the Union Jack so Union Jack is the 
flag of United Kingdom. So she also put down the Union Jack and the Nandini Satpati's journey saw her rise uh, to the prominence as the youngest member of Rajya Sabha at the age of 31. Theke? So this is again an important point. She was the first women chief minister from Odisha. Theke? So she was the first women chief minister from Odisha and she was again the youngest member of Rajya Sabha. Uh, and she became the member of Rajya Sabha at the age of 31 and she again is an important figure uh, in the India's uh, freedom, freedom struggle because she was an, a po the person who fell down the you know Union Jack in Odisha okay so this is an important point so this type of question can be asked in personalities in news okay the important personalities uh, uh, who are uh, who are the part of the national movement theek hai uh, who are the important political figures etc theek hai her tenure as the minister of information and broadcasting under the indira gandhi's cabinet witnessed the pivotal uh, moments in india's history theek uh, hai notably her role in the free bangla radio theek hai so during the 1971 uh, bangladesh liberation war where the India was involved and Pakistan was, was involved and India was supported by Russia okay, and the Pakistan was supported by US. So during the 1971, we basically found out that uh, our reliable partner is Russia, which was called USSR at that time, okay, not the US. So during this, uh, you know, Bangladesh Liberation War of 1971, Free Bangla Radio was founded. Okay. and uh, during this free bangla radio the nandini satpathi was the information and broadcasting minister, uh, minister in the cabinet of indira gandhi so this is again important point so these are all important points so far as nandini satpathi is concerned now moving on to next topic next topic is odisha government has recently uh, requested Okay, urgently requested the center to supply the TV drugs to support the national TV elimination program. So, in this context, we need to understand what is TB, what causes its different type of drugs, okay, different types of TB, and we also need to understand what is the national TV elimination program. So, national TV elimination program uh, is an important elimination program where India has placed to eradicate the TB by 2025. 20, five years earlier than the global target of 2030. So WHO has targeted to eliminate TB uh, from global level by 2030, but India under national TB elimination program has aimed that India will eliminate TB by 2025. So this is an important point. And uh, to align with its ambitious goal, National Tuberculosis uh, Control Program has been renamed as National Tuberculosis Elimination Program. So earlier name of National Tuberculosis Elimination Program uh, was the National Tuberculosis Control Program. Okay. And so far as TB is concerned, TB is caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis bacteria and spreads through the air. Uh, through cough, sneeze and spit, okay? so TB is highly contagious disease, okay? they can be transmitted from the cough, sneeze, spits as well, okay? symptoms include cough with sputum, chest pains, weakness, weight loss, fever, uh, night sweets etc and TB is treatable and curable, nowadays uh, drugs are available to treat the TBs okay? and uh, 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 but the multi -drug, drug resistant tuberculosis which is MDTR TB does not respond to first line of drugs. Take so MDTR is the TB type of TB which does not respond to the first line of drugs of TBs and uh, there is uh, second line drugs take to, uh, to treat the multi drug resistant TB which is MDTR TB second line of drug is used. Take and to treat the extensively drug resistant TB because the extensively drug resistant TB which is called XDR TB is a severe form of MDR and to treat this uh, XDR TB which cures the MDTR is not effective against this drug as well uh, is uh, against this TB XDR TB take leaving the patients with limited treatment options so when the TB becomes severe it is not quite curable okay we cannot cure it 
so that means the extensively resistance uh, drug resistance TB which is XDR TB may not be curable with the second line of drugs as well okay so for this reason this uh, uh, the XD, uh, XDR TB uh, is you know treated with the first line of drugs okay so these are all important points now moving on to the next topic which is Dongaria Kun community in Odisha uh, Nilgiri uh, has announced that they will boycott the elections 2024 Lok Sabha. So recently 2024 Lok Sabha election was held. So in this uh, Lok Sabha election, the Dongoria Kond community has decided to boycott the election. So they basically boycotted the election. The reason is that the Dongaria Kond, uh, Kond community is a community which has been protesting against the Vedanta uh mines okay so vedanta has had started the uh mines in the uh the the area where the uh, dongaria Kon tribe resides so in these niyamgiri hill area okay so niyamgiri hills are the area where the dongaria Kon community reside so in the Nila niyamgiri hill areas the vedanta had opened the uh, mines, but the Dongaria Kond always respected the Niyamgiri hills and the forest. They are the forest dwelling uh, tribals, so they vehemently oppose uh, the uh, the creation of the coal mines or the uh, establishment of the mines by Vedanta. But despite that, Vedanta opened the mines. So for this reason, the Dongaria Kond has always been against the government. They uh, have protested that the government has not listened to them. So for this reason, they have decided to boycott the election completely altogether this year. And the community alleges that many of its members have been falsely implicated in cases due to the protest against the misuse of natural resources in Nyomgiri Hills, including minerals, water, land and forest. So the tribal people, the Dongaria Kone tribal people have uh, accused the government of arresting uh, the members of their community uh, by the government uh, by using the false accusations of using the forest resources uh, without the government permissions permissions okay? so this is the reason why they boycotted the uh, you know elections and uh, the Dongaria Kon people belonging to Munda ethnic tribe okay, reside in Niyamgiri hills spanning across 250 square kilometer in Odisha's Raigada and Kalahandi district okay, so these are the districts in which this Niyamgiri hills belong and their primary language is Kui this is important and which is predominantly spoken within the Kund community uh, in Odisha okay, so this is important and Vedanta mine Niyamgiri hill all these things are important okay, so you can see the protest here we are, we are uh, Dongra Kund uh, Vedanta cannot take our mountain okay so this is the protest of slogan of their protest so they uh, basically opposed the Vedanta now you can comment your opinion uh, in the comment section that what uh, the government of Odisha can do or the government of India can do to resolve the demand of uh, the Dongaria Kon community uh, and uh, to integrate the Dongaria Kon community what the government of India should do uh, how their demands should be met okay so uh, tribal uh, community and their rights are very important so far as Odisha is concerned and so far as India is concerned because Odisha is a state where there is large number of tribal people, tribal groups. Okay? So for this reason you have to have a uh, certain level of opinion so far as the Odisha is concerned and the tribal community is concerned. And uh, next topic is Odisha is introducing a all women managed Sakhi booths. So, a uh, question was initially framed about this as well. So, all women booths, you can see, they were called the pink booths earlier. Okay, so, they all are wearing pink colored uh, dresses and uh, the, you know, booths has been decorated with a pink color. So, for this reason, pink booths uh, were, uh, you know, created in the Odisha. Okay, and... Uh, uh, this was uh, basically booths uh, created in Odisha with low female voter turnaround to encourage the more 
वुमेन टू वोट ठीक है वर देर इज अ लेस अमाउंट ऑफ फीमेल वोटर टर्न आउट इन वेरियस डिस्ट्रिक्ट इन ओडिशा इन दीज एरियाज टू एनकरेज द वुमेन टू वोट इन मोर नंबर्स दिस दीज साखी बूथ वॉर इंस्टॉल्ड ठीक है सो दिस इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड प्रीवियसली नोन एज पिंक बूथ दे आर बींग Uh, rebranded with the staff wearing odisha handloom clothing this year so this is important again so to promote the odisha's handloom theek hai uh, the women in the sakhi boots are wearing the odisha's handloom theek hai so this is again important initiative so far as this uh, initiative is concerned and over 5500 voters Uh, in Odi- a disputed kotia region hold dual voting rights enabling them to participate in both odisha and andhra pradesh elections theek hai so over uh, 5 1500 disputed uh, uh, kotia region hold the dual voting rights theek hai so there is a region in odisha uh, which is called the kotia region and this kotia region is in the border between the odisha and andhra pradesh and the people which are numbered uh, more than 5500 hold the voting rights in both the state which is odisha and the andhra pradesh theek hai so andhra pradesh also gives them voting right and the odisha is also giving them the voting rights so they basically have the dual citizenship in two states in india theek hai so this is an important key point Uh, so far as the interstate dispute in india is concerned and the dispute ongoing since 1968 involves 21 villages claimed by both states residents benefit from the schemes of both states holding aadhar card and ration cards from both the state so residents those reside in kotia area has the aadhar card of the andhra pradesh as well as the aadhar card in odisha and they also have the voter identity card in both the states and Uh, they fall under the Koraput ST Lok Sabha constituency in Odisha, ठीक है, and Araku ST Lok Sabha seat in Andhra Pradesh. So this is an important point, and for this reason, this is an an important case uh, so far as uh, this territorial dispute is concerned. And Supreme Court in 2007 uh, held that this area is the boundary area is to be resolved by the Parliament, ठीक है, uh, because the Uh, interstate boundaries do not fall under the jurisdiction of the parliament theek hai and so far as article 263 of the constitution of india is concerned the interstate council uh, inquires uh, and advises upon the disputes uh, which might arise between states investigates and discusses the subjects which are uh, which uh, in which some of all the states are union uh, you know, or more of the states have common interest theek hai so basically the dispute between the states are uh, discussed or you know uh, resolved by the interstate council as per the article 263 of the constitution of india and article 262 what does the, does it talk about comment the answer of this question what is the article 262 so 263 is about interstate council what is the 262 what does it say about so it is also related to interstate but what comment the answer of this question in the comment section so uh, article 263 so this article basically grants the interstate council to resolve the dispute between the inter uh, two uh, board, uh, states theek hai so this dispute is to be resolved by the interstate council and the, as per this article the uh, parliament can exclude the uh, courts Uh, to uh, to to use its jurisdiction in case of the interstate disputes so uh, the supreme court of india or any other courts in india might be excluded uh, to uh, look into matters of the interstate disputes in india as per article 263 so you have to know these points now moving on to uh, next topic which is called the uh, vitarkanika national park authorities have implemented various measures to protect the wildlife from the threats such as heat waves poaching and fires theek hai so the Koraput uh, Vidarkanika National Authorities has implemented these key measures because there has been increase in heat waves poaching and fires in and this uh, Vidarkanika National Park because this year has been one of the uh, year with the highest number uh, which is with the highest increase in temperature theek hai so for this reason various measures has been taken place uh, uh, and Vidarkanika National Park is located in 
केंद्रपारा डिस्ट्रिक्ट इन ओडिशा ठीक है यू हैव टू नो दिस पॉइंट एंड इंडिया सेकंड लार्जेस्ट मैनग्रोव इकोसिस्टम फॉलोइंग सुंदरबंस दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इंडिया में जो लार्जेस्ट जो जो मैनग्रोव है द लार्जेस्ट मैनग्रोव इकोसिस्टम इज लोकेटेड इन सुंदरबन ठीक है बट दिस इज द सेकेंड लार्जेस्ट इज दी वीतर कनिका नेशनल पार्क ठीक है एंड डेजिग्नेटेड एज नेशनल पार्क इन सेप्टेम्बर सिक्सटीन इट रिसीव रामसर साइट स्टेटस इन ऑगस्ट ट्वेंटी बिकमिंग द स्टेट सेकेंड रामसर साइट आफ्टर चिलिका लेक सो वीतर कनिका नेशनल पार्क इज द नेशनल पार्क इन ओडिशा विच इज द सेकेंड रामसर साइट इन ओडिशा एज वेल ठीक है so this is again an important distinction and it is characterized by the network of creeks and canals which are fed by uh, brahmani vaitrani dhamra etc so these are the important rivers which feeds the vitarkanika national park theek hai so you have to remember these points so yahan pe vitarkanika national park you can see here so gahir mata wildlife sanctuary is here so many rivers flows into this national park which are dhamra uh, brahmani vaitrani etc theek hai and uh, देवरीगर वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी वी टॉक्ट अबाउट इट दिस इज गोइंग टू बी द थर्ड टाइगर रिजर्व इन ओडिशा एंड दिस इज लोकेटेड इन बॉर्डर विद द छत्तीसगढ़ ठीक है एंड सुनाबेडा वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी इज देर ठीक है ऑल दीज वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरीज यू कैन सी ह्योर आई प्रोवाइड द लिंक ऑफ द पी डी एफ इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन यू कैन रीड अबाउट द लिंक्स दीज यू नो टाइगर रिजर्व एंड वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरीज ठीक है सिमिली पाल टाइगर रिजर्व वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी इज ह्योर ठीक है लखादी कोडराम कोरिया पार्ट वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी दीज ऑल वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरीज आर इंपॉर्टेंट इफ यू रीड देम थ्रू द मैप दिस विल बिकम इजियर फॉर यू टू रिमेंबर ठीक है नाउ मूविंग ऑन टू नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक विच इज द ओडिशा गवर्नमेंट हैज रिपोर्टेड एटी सेवन सेवन परसेंट रिडक्शन इन द न्यू लेप्रोसी केसेस बिटवीन टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर ठीक है सो दिस इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट achievement by the odisha government so uh, for this reason we need to understand the national leprosy control program theek hai national leprosy control program was launched uh, by the government of india in 1954 55 so uh, and uh, the multi drug therapy mdt came into wide use from 1982 so mdt is there to treat the leprosy in india and the national leprosy eradication program was introduced in 1983 theek hai so mdt came in 1982 and leprosy eradication program started in 1983 theek hai and it it achieved the goal set by the national health policy uh, 2002 of elimination of leprosy as public health problem theek hai so India basically eliminated the national uh, leprosy from India, and the national health policy of 2022 had the you know ambition that defined less than one cases per one ten uh, thousand population at the national level by December 2005. ठीक है, so uh, India achieved uh, the goal of the national health policy 2002 by achieving less than one case per 10000 population uh, in the cases of the leprosy theek hai so there is uh, only uh, less than one uh, per 10000 population uh, of the leprosy cases in india theek hai after 2005 so this is an important achievement but odisha is the state where there is still a large number of the leprosy cases but the government has reported that 87% reduction in leprosy between 2000 and 2024 so this is an important point theek hai so india has eliminated the leprosy you have to know that point and the uh, next important point is uh, priti smita voi so priti smita voi of odisha achieved a new world record at the uh, indian wrestling federation theek hai indian weight lifting international weight lifting lifting federation uh, theek hai and uh, uh this uh, international weight lifting uh, championship was held in lima in peru and the uh, josna sawar has also created history so basically the india's pritishmita uh, won the gold in this championship international weight lifting federations ka jo championship tha usme uh, जो जो प्रीति सीमा वॉय है सी वॉन दी गोल्ड मेडल यू हैव टू नो द रिमेंबर एंड द एरिया सी बिलोंग्स टू प्रीति सीमा प्रीति स्मिता बिलोंग्स फ्रॉम दी वेट लिफ्टिंग स्पोर्ट ठीक है वेट लिफ्ट सी हर स्पोर्ट इज 
द वर्ल्ड लिफ्टिंग ठीक है एंड द इंटरनेशनल वर्ल्ड लिफ्टिंग चैंपियनशिप वॉज हेल्ड इन लीमा एंड पेरू दिस इज अनादर पॉइंट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर एंड इंटरनेशनल वर्ल्ड लिफ्टिंग फेडरेशन इज अ पर्मनेंट नॉन प्रॉफिट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो दिस इज नॉट अ इंटर गवर्नमेंटल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दिस इज अ नॉन प्रॉफिट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कंपोज ऑफ वन वन नाइनटी थ्री अफिलियटेड नेशनल फेडरेशन वर्ल्ड लाइफ वर्ल्ड वाइड फ्रॉम ऑल फाइव कॉन्टिनेंट्स ठीक है एंड इंटरनेशनल वर्ल्ड लिफ्टिंग फेडरेशन वॉज फाउंडेड इन नाइनटीन नाइनटी फाइव बींग वन ऑफ द ओल्डेस्ट इंटरनेशनल स्पोर्ट फेडरेशन सो इट वॉज फाउंडेड इन नाइनटीन नाइनटी फाइव सो यू हैव टू नो अबाउट द इंटरनेशनल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एज वेल ठीक है वन इट वॉज फाउंडेड वट इज इट्स पर्पज एट्सेट्रा ठीक है एंड इट इज द वर्ल्ड कंट्रोलिंग बॉडी फॉर वर्ल्ड लिफ्टिंग एंड ऑल्सो रिकॉगनाइज बाई इंटरनेशनल ओलंपिक कमेटी ठीक है सो दीज आर ऑल इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स यू हैव टू नो अबाउट दैम सो जोस्ना सबार वॉन दी सिल्वर ठीक है एंड प्रतिस्मिता वॉन दी गोल्ड सो दीज आर ऑल इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स नाउ मूविंग ऑन टू नेक्स्ट टॉपिक ओडिशा इज सेट टू लॉन्च इट्स फर्स्ट बंदे मेट्रो ट्रेन सो वी टॉक्ट अबाउट इट एज वेल बंदे मेट्रो ट्रेन इज द ट्रेन विच इज बींग स्टार्टेड इन ओडिशा ठीक है एंड शॉर्टर डिस्टेंस पोर्सन ऑफ बंदे भारत एक्सप्रेस so this bande metro train is basically the shorter distance version of bande bharat express and this is being launched in the route which is called the haridaspur paradip route so this is again important in which route it is being launched theek hai so uh, paradip haridaspur railway line would be doubled to accommodate this new service theek hai once the railway line is doubled the bande metro will uh, <coughs> catered to the urban commuters traveling distances uh, up to 250 km okay so this is an important point additionally the railway minister uh, disclosed the plans for upcoming uh, jajpur dhamra railway line which will pass through the jajpur town aradi and chandabai ठीक है सो अगेन अनादर इंपॉर्टेंट लाइन इज कमिंग अप विच इज दी जजपुर धमरा अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस हरिदासपुर पैरादीप रोड सो दीज आर ऑल इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स दैट यू नीड टू नो सो फार एज दी बंदे मेट्रो ट्रेन आर कंसर्न ठीक है सो एंड नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इज अ सेवेंटीन ईयर ओल्ड रॉयल बंगाल टाइगर नेम्ड नंदन passed away in nandan uh, kanan geological park in odisha so nandan kanan geological park was in news recently theek hai and nandan kanan uh, geological park mein uh, uh, nandan naam ka ek tiger uh, ka death hua and uh, it is located from 15 km from odisha's capital bhubaneswar theek hai nandan kanan you can locate nandan kanan wildlife sanctuary here ठीक है एंड इट होल्ड्स द डिस्टिंगशन ऑफ बिंग द फर्स्ट जू इन इंडिया टू जॉइन द वर्ल्ड एसोसिएशन ऑफ जूज एंड एक्वेरियम एक्वेरियम सो दिस इज अगेन इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट वॉजा ठीक है सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट जू इन इंडिया टू बी द मेंबर ऑफ दिस वजा एंड एंड वजा इज अ ग्लोबल अलायंस डेडिकेटेड टू एनिमल केयर एंड कंजर्वेशन वर्ल्ड वाइड एंड द पार्क इज रिनाउंड फॉर इट्स सक्सेसफुल ब्रीडिंग प्रोग्राम्स पर्टिकुलरली ऑफ इंडियन पैंगलिन एंड वाइट टाइगर सो इंडियन पैंगलिन एंड वाइट टाइगर इज ऑल्सो फाउंड यर एंड एडिशनली नंदनकरण वॉज वर्ल्ड फर्स्ट फैसिलिटी टू ब्रीड घरियाज इन कैप्टिविटी स्टैब्लिशिंग द कैप्टिव क्रोकोडाइल ब्रीडिंग सेंटर इन नाइनटीन एटी सो दिस इज अगेन अनादर इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट सो दीज two are very important points that you need to know so far as the prelims uh, pointers are concerned theek hai so uh, you can read about them in the pdf as well theek hai now moving on to uh, next topic next topic is about the surya tilak project so surya tilak project was recently launched by the union government and uh, surya tilak project is basically a project which eliminates the phrase of ram lalla you can see here the ram lalla's uh, forehead was eliminated and this was uh, considered by some uh, news agency as miracle but this is not a miracle but this is a project of the government and sk panigarhi Uh, an odia scientist recently demonstrated a fascinating project called surya tilak so uh, the sk panigrahi from o- odisha was basically involved in this project theek hai so sk panigrahi he was uh, he is an em- eminent scientist from odisha and uh, uh, he basically pro- uh, st- uh, launched this project called surya tilak project and in ayodhya temple theek hai and in this surya tilak project uh, the uh, technology called periscope phenomena is used so periscope 
फिनोमिना इज इम्पॉर्टेंट सो पेरिस्कोप में देर आर डिफरेंट लेंसेस एंड मिरर्स आर यूज सो मिरर्स एंड लेंसेस हैव बिन यूज योर ठीक है सो दीज मिरर बेसिकली ट्रैक द पोजिशन ऑफ द सन ठीक है सो वेन दे ट्रैक द पोजिशन ऑफ द सन द सन लाइट डायरेक्टली एंटर्स इन टू दिस पेरिस्कोप एंड दे आर रिफ्लेक्टेड ऑन द फोर हेड ऑफ द राम लल्ला सो दिस इज हाउ दिस टेक्नोलॉजी वर्क सो दिस इज द राम यू नो सूर्य तिलक प्रोजेक्ट एंड डॉक्टर एस के पानीग्रही इज एसोसिएटेड विद दिस सो डॉक्टर एस के पानीग्रही यू नीड टू नो अबाउट इट अबाउट हिम द उड़ीसा फुटबॉल क्लब वीमेन मेड द हिस्ट्री रिसेंटली ऑन मार्च ट्वेंटी फोर बाई विनिंग द इंडियन वीमेन्स लीग सो इंडियन वीमेन लीग ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर वॉज वोन बाई उड़ीसा फुटबॉल क्लब एंड उड़ीसा फुटबॉल क्लब वोन दिस फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम ठीक है सो दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट न्यूज एंड उड़ीसा फुटबॉल क्लब क्लब बेसिकली डिफिटेड द गोकुलम फुटबॉल क्लब सो गोकुलम फुटबॉल क्लब वॉज डिफिटेड एंड फीफा हेड क्वार्टर इन जूरीज ऑल्सो टुक नोट ऑफ देयर अचीवमेंट ठीक है एंड फीफा प्रेसिडेंट ऑल्सो कॉन्ग्रेचुलेटेड ओडिशा फुटबॉल क्लब एंड ओडिशा फुटबॉल क्लब परफॉर्मेंस इन द लीग वॉज आउटस्टैंडिंग विद टेन विन्स वन लॉस एंड ट्वेल्व वन ड्रॉ ठीक है आउट ऑफ ट्वेल्व मैचेस ओनली इन वन मैच ओडिशा लॉस्ट and in one match they were drawn and 10 matches were won by them so this is a remarkable feat and founded in 2016 currently a total seven teams from across the country participate in the league theek okay, hai so league was founded in 2016 and comment in the comment section which team has won most number of the match theek okay, hai so comment in the comment section now moving on to next topic <coughs> Kalahandi district faces the significant migration with thousands leaving annually for the job opportunity to the other states so this is a migration challenge uh, in odisha theek hai uh, so this is important because uh, the majihari village uh, uh, in the uh, kalahandi block uh, is an stark example where 2000 out of 3000 registered voters having migrated for the work so this is more than Uh, 50% of the people had migrated out of uh, this district uh okay so for this reason this topic is important and uh, now moving on to next topic uh, which is uh important again okay so this was so this was the last topic of discussion for today so uh, you need to know all these important points so these topics are quite important for the opsc and uh, we discussed all the important uh, current affairs so far as the opsc is concerned so past 3 months current affairs was covered here so you need to uh, revise these current affairs thoroughly thoroughly so i have given you the pdf of the current affairs in the comment section as well you can download the pdf as well so having said that i am concluding today session will be covering all the important current current affairs in the upcoming months as well theek okay, hai for the opsc and other exams as well so stay tuned uh, having said that uh, let us uh, conclude the session let us wrap up this session so uh, we'll meet again in the next video thank you take care jai hind